We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the New York Yankees and the Detroit Tigers. It's Tigers baseball and it's coming up next. Spencer Turnbull is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Detroit. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And we're underway as the first pitch is a check swing, but a called strike, 0 and 1. So, guys, these Tigers, as they begin play here tonight, even after the victory last time out, they come in trying to turn things around as they've been slumping of late, winning in just three of their last nine games. Yeah, Maddie, the first game of any series is super important. You have a chance to set the tone, whether it's three game set or a four game set. You take the first one, you put that other team on their heels. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And it's 1-2. One and two. One ball, two 53 yeah. degrees here at game time as it's cooled off considerably since batting practice this afternoon. Here's the 1-2 and two delivery. Ball. line towards center field into a slide and he makes a great catch for the first out. That second. The third baseman, Gio Urshela. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. Urshela hits right-handed pitching very well. Makes a lot of contact, but he generally isn't known for displaying a lot of power. You'll see a lot of line drives and ground balls from him in these situations. Yeah, I almost think he has too good of hand-eye coordination, Matty. Sometimes maybe just attacks that pitch that's not there to do major damage with but could just drive it up the middle the other way and take his knock, and that's what he's been able to do. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Pretty textbook that pitching right there. Jump ahead the and count 0-2, and Labor. then start working outside Four. the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He'll check in here at 256. Two home runs and eight runs batted in. A one pitch on its way. Swung on and chopped down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 2 now. And now a pitch on the way. And he won't offer it that. Too high. One and two. Two out, nobody on. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Now here's the pitch. This one's down to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Yankees nothing. Tigers coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jay Happ, a southpaw from Illinois, gets the starting call in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? 
Hey, Matt, in a day and age where runs are scored at an alarming rate, this guy's been pretty rock solid. Last three starts, ERA under 2.00. Not an easy thing to do, and you'll know if he's on early. If he's good and on point in the first inning, that usually means he's going to be rock solid throughout the rest of the game. Standing in, Cameron Maben. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, guys, yesterday's loss was a tough one, a one-run loss. Hopefully they were able to just acclimate themselves to the city, get a chance to hit the streets, maybe regroup a little bit, and show up today ready to go. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. Batting second, the center fielder, Harold. Castro. Now to the plate, Harold Castro. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Pitch on the way. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Hap has hurled more than 1,700 innings in the majors during his career. And over those innings, he's collected over 1,500 strikeouts. The windup and the 0-1. One out, nobody on. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0-2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at 3-2. and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Another payoff pitch. Left center, base hit. Dan, as a former pitcher, are you privy to this guy? I mean, he's been swinging the bat well. I know it's only April, but he's been using the entire field, staying line to line. That's what makes it so hard as a pitcher. When you can't go one way when you pitch a guy in, he pulls it. When you throw it away, he hits it the other way. He's having that ability right now just to be able to get the barrel to it, and he's having a real strong beginning of this season. First pitch of the at bat and a fastball to start things out here not close it's a ball and no strikes starts to go around but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two Castro stands at first with one out line to the right side and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit and this one scoots all the way to the wall. The relay. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope as the first pitch here has been high. It's ball one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Five homers, nine driven in. Ready with the 1-0. Squared that one up just a little late. One one down the left field line and deep and this will wind up a foul ball 
Second and third here, one man out. He Great. got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. So that'll bring up C.J. Crone in past meetings with Jay Happ. He's totaled four hits in 21 at-bats. Two of those hits were for home runs. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss at a changeup that has him all kinds of goofed up at the plate. Second and third, two away. And it's quickly 0-2. And, and he fouls this one off. Oh and two here it is high in the air down the right field line but this is going to wind up a foul ball and he missed with it it's one and two after multiple pitches were fouled off it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher so you think to say I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it didn't happen. Runners at second and third with two gone. To two balls and two strikes now. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Changeup taken for ball three, well below the zone. Some pitchers fall into the trap of getting in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. The payoff pitch. Pitch popped up. Urshela is there. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. Tigers strand a pair, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. New inning set to get underway. Coming to the plate now, Luke Voigt, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this is taken outside for ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Hit on the ground to short. In the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. So definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman for the error. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch of the at bat. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Nobody out, runner on first. That one doesn't even sniff the zone, missing very high. The 1 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. The one two. Oh, 
Uh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was that really good. well executed, Matt. Like classic yeah. strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle yeah. in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he'll nope. take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. Still plenty to be desired in terms of batting average down in the 180s entering play. Five homers and 11 RBIs. The 1 0. Inside, ball two. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Ready with the 2 0. 3 and 0 now. Wow, this is the kind of count you'd like to get your superstar hitters in, right? 3 and 0. You can bet he has the green light on this pitch. A strike and it's three and one. Giancarlo swings and this ball is hit well into left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A long two run homer off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Sixth home run on the season for him. And this is now a two to nothing lead for the Yankees. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The wind up and the 0 1. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Popped him up. Prone in foul ground. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting eight. The designated hitter, Mike Ford. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Mike Ford. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Grounded to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. The Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 2 nothing New York. Leading off the inning, Austin Romine. And they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First offering on its way. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Ball one strike. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Reined in. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Batting seven. No left fielder. Number 14. Digging in, Kristen Stewart. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. 
On the corner away, a ball and a strike. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Tigers have cut this to a 2-1 to one ball game. That bomb didn't tie things up, but they're only down one right now and feeling pretty good they can come back. Into the box, Nico Goodrum. As you look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Three homers and 15 RBIs. The 1-0. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. The 1-1. And there's a base hit on the line. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the 8-9 hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. The next batter, Jamer Candelario. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. the stretch against left-handed pitching so far this season Candelario is a 300 hitter on the dot can't complain about that his batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up Runner, yes, he's yes. running pitch outside the throw and it skips in as he steals the bag easily. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. One and one, here it comes. Ah, oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. On the year, Candelario comes into action carrying a slugging line above 470. Obviously a potent hitter looking to do some damage right here. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Lifted into center field. Gardner is there, and he makes the catch for the second out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. The right fielder, number four, Cameron Maben. So stepping in, Cameron Maben, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Ready with the 1 0. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Ready with the 2 0. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Gardner on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this.
Stepping up now, Kyle Higashioka, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Off the plate, ball one. The 1 0 home. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. The 1 1. We got two balls, one strike. Popped up, prone in foul ground. And no one will get this one. Three and two now. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Now the three and two pitch. Is swung on and missed strike three. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat and that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Here's Brett Gardner now. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. A ball and a strike. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. And there's out number two. Now batter, the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Ready for another chance? Gio Urshela, 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch coming, here it is. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. One and one. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here. Middle of the order guy is coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. One and two now. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. So a solo shot here to left center field. Home run number three here in the early going, and it gives the Yankees a 3-1 to one lead. Big swing right there. Give himself a little bit of breathing room. Let his pitcher go to work. Now they're up two. To the plate now, Torres. The shortstop. Labor. As he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Oh. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Aye. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
bouncing ball toward the hole. High hop, and he barehands it. It's in time. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We play two and a half. It's now three to one, Yanks. Digging in now, Harold Castro, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. First offering on its way. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. And he pops him up. Drifting toward the left side of the infield. Torres has it, and there's one away. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. One gone here in the Detroit third, and that brings in Miguel Cabrera. First pitch of the at bat on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Hey, after the double at his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. There's a lot of moving parts in some guy's swings. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. Here's Jonathan Scope now as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike 3 in his first plate appearance. And he misses again 2 and 0. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. The 2 0. Swing, high drive, left field, and deep. And that'll get over the wall. So forget about sending the runner. It'll be second and third now with only one away. Well, I do wonder if that ball stays in the ballpark, did they send him home there? It's really hard to say with the ball bouncing over the wall for a double. That might have cost them a run there. Here's CJ Crone now. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He popped out in his first trip. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Well, giving up hits is one thing, but judging by that last pitch, he doesn't have any consistency with his release point right now. He doesn't know where it's going, and he knows it. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. The pitcher. Striding into the box, Austin Romine. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Fouled off.
fastball here not close and it's one and one now tough spot to hit here as a hitter you have a base open so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher is he going to try to pitch around me or is he going to come in the strike zone Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. Third inning here. Three to one our score. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Boom goes the dynamite. So a three run blast to straight away left first home run of the campaign for him as they take the lead four to three. Well he won his last start but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W in this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. Up next steps Kristen Stewart. Number 14. Pulled toward right center field. Gardner's after it. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. But not before three cross the plate for the Tigers on the strength of this three-run home run. We played three full. It's now 4-3 Tigers. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Leading off with the Yankees. Settling in now, Luke Voigt. He reached base on an error and later came around to score last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. A bouncer to the left side. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now battle. The left field. Tyler Wade. Now batting. Tyler Wade looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here's the pitch. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold. 0 and 2. Runs coming fast and furious here. 4 3 our score as we play the fourth. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Up next for the Yankees, the right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth, and set to stand in the ultra dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. First offering on its way. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. 
Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot, throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. The one two is looked at for ball number two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Fouled away. Another 2-2 offering. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full 3-2. Three 3-2 two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Three runs, just two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And it's fouled away. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Giancarlo swings, and this ball is hit well into left field. Looking up is the left fielder at the track. The wall. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo home run here off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. His second home run of the game, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. We're watching an impressive power display today. With that one, these two teams have now hit a combined five homers in this game. Matty V, this is turning into home run derby part two. Dero, five bombs already in this one. Yeah, there's a fight at the bat rack for both teams right here. A lot of mislocations right out over the heart of the plate, and neither side is missing. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. He'll make it to second base now with two gone. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving one into the gap like that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. Standing in now, Mike Ford, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One and 0, here it is. Two out here and a runner at second. Lifted the other way out to left center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. And I can't blame the pitching coach for making that walk. That's three consecutive two out hits here, so he's going to remind this guy that they just need to make one good pitch and get this inning over with. Let's see if the talk does any good. Into the box now, Kyle Higashioka, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. The 1 0. And that's right there, and we're even at one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. One and two to the Yankees catcher. 
He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Here's the one-two. A bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. The center field, number 11, Brett Garber. In now, Brett Gardner. And she'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Gardner is slugging just a little over 400. Not a huge threat, but he can certainly square one up on occasion. Ready with the 0-1. Oh, that's off the plate. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon, and this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And he fouls this one off. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Yankees are out in front, 5-4. to four. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And he was very pleased with how little they're swinging and missing right now. Looking at the advanced data, our researchers found that about 9 of 10 swings are resulting in some sort of contact today which is well above Major League average. The result has been a lot of balls in play, a lot of hits, and solid run production, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Digging in for his second at-bat, Nico Goodrum. One for one after a single his first time up. Swing and a ball in line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. The 0-1. Okay. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the now inning. Batted. Third baseman. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next, it'll be Jamer Candelario. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. After it is Gardner. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batter. The right field. Cameron Mabin. Now at the plate, Cameron Mabin. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Ball. Four runs, seven hits, one error for the Tigers thus far. 2 and 0. Oh in the dirt it's three and oh now yeah he's all over the place right now no doubt he's clearly fighting his mechanics now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone now that's a really curious pitch selection 3-0 and turned to the slider you have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball rip down the first baseline but a foul ball and it's full now at three and two Now the payoff pitch home. 
pulled high in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Tigers, and the deficit holds at 5-4. to four. Ready for another shot now. Gio Urshela. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Urshela. First delivery to him on the way. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. The pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be, so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game. Down the left field line and deep. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. A shot down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. The shortstop. Labor. Torres. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. First pitch on its way. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. It might be time for this guy to start mixing his pitches up a little bit better. He's pitching poorly, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage at over 70 percent. This batting, this team batting has a pretty good idea what his game plan is. And quickly, there are two away. Up next for the Yankees, the first baseman, Luke Voigt. Now with the plate, Luke Voigt, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First offering on its way. Ball, that's out. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Taken in by Scope. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. We are in Motown, but I don't think we'll be seeing any of these people dancing in a soul review tonight. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Bottom of the inning now. Digging in to try it again. Harold Castro. One for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch on its way. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Now it's 2-0. Here it comes. Adi pops it up. Urshela in foul ground. But this will land untouched. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action hey. pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Harold Castro that, is retired for the first out in the yeah. bottom half of the fifth. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Ball one, no fight. The 1 0. Misses for the second ball. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Jonathan Scope will be next. One out, nobody on. And oh, he thought that was ball four, but it's called a strike. Three and one now. Three balls and two strikes to the Tigers' designated hitter. When you get yourself to a 3 1 count and you get a fastball, 
those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Now the payoff pitch home. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Might have been just out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch, so sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. And next it'll be the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Jonathan Scope. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And that misses 1 and 1. Runners on first with one down. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Well, it's been a rough now series back. for him at the first plate base. so far. That's four strikeouts in the first Whoa. two games, so this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. At the plate, C.J. Crone. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. One oh home. Nope. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. Three and oh nope. now. Nope. Don't make your manager be the bad guy in this situation. I know you struggled a little bit right here. You got to find a way to get through this fifth inning and qualify for that win. 3-0 pitch he is taken strike one a runner on first with two away and that misses ball four so it's first and second now with two out oh man I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit he just missed and now the inning continues with a man in scoring position Trying to pick things up where he left off. Austin Romine. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Yvonne Nova takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 43, Yvonne Nova. At the plate, Tyler Wade. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. The left fielder, Tyler. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Maven on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now batting, right fielder, Giancarlo Sanchez. 
Giancarlo Stanton will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. The 1 0 home. Talk about certain guys in the lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. Bases are empty, one man out. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. Ball three. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Mabin is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batter, the second baseman, T.J. LeMahieu. Two away now in the Yankees' sixth, and that'll bring up D.J. LeMahieu. First offering on its way. And a curveball in for a strike. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. No, the 0 1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Fastball taken inside for a ball. 2 and 1 now. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two-seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Center fielder giving chase. He slides and makes the catch. A beautiful play to end the inning. A fine sliding catch here will take us to break. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Kristen Stewart will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Stanton on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now batter. Good stop. Nico. Good draw. Next for the Tigers, Nico Goodrum. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. The 0 1. I got one ball, one strike. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Torres scoops it up and a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now batting, third baseman, Jay Hurd, Candelario. 
Striding in, Jimer Candelario. He flew out in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. And with just five and two thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, Matty V, and the way baseball is played these days, it's about six innings or 100 heaves, and you're pretty much looking for that bullpen. In D roll right now, this guy's pretty vulnerable right now at this game. Yeah, Dan, you are a monster down that bullpen. That's what it seems to be in today's game. There's five or six of you guys hanging out down there. So he's going to empty the bucket right here until the manager gets him. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Detroit. Still down a run. It's five to four. Standing in, Mike Ford, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Some action now in the Tigers' bullpen as they'll get a left-hander and a right-hander up to throw. Now the 1 0. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there especially in a one two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of That's swings okay. and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. At the plate now, Kyle Higashioka. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Now the 1 0. Swing and a soft liner. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The seven field, number 11. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Brett Gardner, he's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Outside, that's the ball. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. Drilled to first. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They hold on to a 5-4 lead. Chad Green gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 57, Chad Green. Here's Cameron Maben now. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game. 
only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up. He was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. And he lays off the 0-2 splitter. One and two now. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away. And it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. The 1-2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. to the plate now Harold Castro as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one he's working on a one for three thus far here's strike two as the slider hits the outside corner your idea of work and account goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. This is hit softly to third. And there are two away now. Up next to the Tigers, the designated hitter, Miguel Cabrera. So two outs now here in the Detroit half of the seventh and that brings in Miguel Cabrera. First pitch of the at bat lifted in the air toward the line and right and foul. Two out nobody on. A ball and a strike to Miguel Cabrera. One ball, one strike. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. The one, two. And a try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Yankees lead it five to four. Leading off the inning, Gio Urshela, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Urshela. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And it's the outside corner, it's strike one. Ball one. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. The one one. That ball two. Line to the right side. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. 
Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on that lineup card because he's on fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. Into the box, Torres. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number three here in the early going, and it's now seven to four. That's dinger number six on the day between these two lineups. I feel like I'm watching home run derby here, guys. Yeah, Matty V, and hey, you don't see this very often, d -Row. A lot of runs scored and a lot of home runs. This is a now big that, ballpark here, the Comerica big. Ballpark in Detroit. Yeah, Dan, it's interesting. Whoa, you walk in, down. and at first glance, Comerica Park doesn't look like it plays that small. But then you do the advanced stats on it. A lot of guys going deep in this yard. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. Base is empty here with nobody out. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The 2 1. Is taken for strike two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Into the box now, Tyler Wade. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Castro is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now batting. Right fielder, Giancarlo Santos. Stepping into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. The 2 0 on the way. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Now, with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3 0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Here's the pitch. Hey. That one's in there. Three and one. Three balls, one strike. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Line drive to left. Stewart is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. The Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's the Yankees seven and the Tigers four. Adam Ottavino is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number zero, Adam Ottavino. Stepping up to the plate, Jonathan Scope. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. 
the second baseman. Got us there. Go. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a ball 1 and 0. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. One zero count. Here it is. Slider, but that's below the knees, and it's two and zero. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. Two zero, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Behind on the swing that time, and it's two and one. Pitch on the way. Popped him up. Voigt moving to his left. He's got it one away. Now batting. Well, this has been a bullpen game for some time now, but let's go back and review the performances of the two starters, neither of whom turned in an outing to remember. Now in the box, C.J. Crone. First delivery to him on the way. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. 1-0 pitch. Well hit, but right into the teeth of the shift. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now batting. The catcher. Austin. Romine. In now, Austin Romine. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. Four. And that misses inside 1 and 0. Faces are empty here with two men out. In there, one and one. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now the 2 1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. Swing and he pops him up. LeMahieu calls for it, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Tigers. They're on the short end of a 7-4 score. Digging in, D.J. LeMahieu. He'll start things off in the top of the ninth as they look for a little insurance. Here's the first pitch to him. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now that designated hitter, Mike Four. Into the box, Mike Ford. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. On the ground to the left side. He's got it. 
throw on to first takes care of him, and the top of the ninth is proving unfruitful thus far. Two quick outs here. Well executed two-seamer on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. At the plate, Kyle Higashioka. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Back outside. Now the 1 0. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a liner. Throw in time and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They hold a seven to four lead. Tommy Kingley comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 48. Tommy Kingley. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. At the plate, Kristen Stewart. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hey, not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. Ball one to start the at-bat. is offered at and missed for the first strike. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. That's now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. The 2 1 is strike two swinging. Two strike. Popped him up. Torres is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was hoping for now one away. Not shortstop. Nico. Good draw. Digging in the switch hitter, Nico Goodrum. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First pitch here is softly hit down the line to third. And that is down as that could be two bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely the second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Runner at second, one away, and into bat next, it'll be Jamer Candelario. On the stretch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. The 1 0 home. Runner at second here with one man out. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. Has a look, now the pitch. 
And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first will be in time, and now the Tigers are down to their final out. The batter, the white field, Cameron. So striding forward now, Cameron Maven. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Set, here it comes. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And no advance, it's ball one. The 1 0 home is looked at for the first strike. And it's 2 and 1 to the Tigers' leadoff hitter. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Hard liner towards short. And that's through into left, a base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plane. Yeah, one a day keeps the doctor away, Dan, especially when it's a big one late in the game. It doesn't matter at all. You're just trying to get one knock a day, find a couple barrels. He happened to catch his late. Boy, I tell you what, you're talking about coming at a good time, too. You're having kind of a rough night last A.B. You end up being able to do something positive, not only for yourself, but also helping the team out, too. Aroldis Chapman takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. So striding in, Harold Castro. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. First pitch of the at-bat. Tried to golf at it, but he missed strike one. Two-run game, last of the ninth with two away. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Now a throw over to first, and he'll be back in standing up. Last breath for the Tigers. Fouled away. Drilled down the line. Oh, it takes a nasty hop, and he's unable to haul it in. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. 7-5 tonight's final. The New York Yankees get the win on the heels of four home runs. Jay Happ with his fourth win this season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.